Hi, everybody. It's James, and welcome back to the Swifts. We're here on the Monday before we play Rangers because it is time to see who we get in the first knockout round of the Champions League. Now, oop, I can I already started. Quick thing. Now we we can look at who we can't play here. But let's see who is of it. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we could get PSV, which would be great. Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Dortmund. We can't play Dortmund. So Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Hertha, PSG, Inter, Valencia. Jesus. Yeesh. Um, Hertha, PSV, Valencia, I'd take. Maybe even Inter. God, I wish we played Dortmund again, but I don't want Bar. Basically, Barcelona and PSG, I don't want. Atletico Madrid would be a tough shout, too. <sighs> All right. So here we go. PSV, Man City. Valencia, Milan. PSG, Bayern. Wow, that's a matchup. Atletico Madrid, Liverpool. Dortmund, this isn't us. Inter, Man United. I think we have Barcelona, because I don't think you can play somebody in your own... Yeah, you can't play anybody in your own team, so... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Where, how good has Barcelona been lately? Won the division the last two times. Now we 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 played Barcelona and we played pretty well against Barcelona. How have they? I mean, they've got Jordan Sancho. What's their team look like? Max Ahrens, Adrio, there's Tristegen, Oxymoria, Havertz, Sancho, Wolf. How good is Wolf? He's pretty good. Yeah, he's 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 pretty good. Um, Tomori, Serge Gnabry, they've got Luka Jovic. Oh my God, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun, guys. They have Anthony Martial on loan to Southampton. Jeez. Okay. So, first leg at the camp now. Pitting the Giants of Barcelona against the universe. There's a bumper call to be expecting for an undoubtedly fascinating, far hard fought second tie. Yeah. An absolutely fascinating tie. Jeez. I thought, you know, hey, yeah, we could get, you know, an easier team, an interesting team, something different, something else going. No, Barcelona. Congratulations, Swifts. Um, this might be. This might be the group stage. <laughs> I mean, this might be it, right? I mean, not. We'll see. Obviously, there's still football to play, and I thought we were gonna get hammered in the current stage that we were in the groups, and we rickrolled. So maybe we've got the team to do it. <sighs> Who knows? But a huge game today in the state of the Scottish League Premiership. Uh, second place Rangers versus us. Rangers who are, if we look down here. 13 points behind us with the game in hand. I don't know how they have the game in hand. Yeah, I'm not going to... They're trying to sneak all my good coaches. And Heracles has been really killing it. Pavel Zamala has been doing well in trading. Good's good to see. So is he. He got some nice uh, game time recently. Timo Verichik, Adrian Hamilton. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> uh, we got our we got to look at our youth intake too. It's supposed to be okay. So we have been improving the junior coaching, like the recruitment and everything. So there is a chance that there could be some decent players, hopefully soon. Um, we have been pushing a ton of cash into it. Uh, Adam Vai. All right. How do they want us to line up? Heracles Williams is fine. Bunzia. Steel, Verichuk, Suarez, Panavec, Murphy, Farrell, Vi, Bonfigo, How Does the Bench Look, Dragon, Buttersworth, Almog, Lau, Gretzka, Gretzquick. 
Um, <laughs> where's my boy? For Brainy. Get in there. Almog is fine. Dragon is good. Buttersworth and Jacko out of it. So that all looks good, but there's something else you probably want to know is, how did you do in their last game, James against Livingston? How did that go? It was a 5-0 win. Um, Farrell was injured. So, uh, no, not Farrell. Vi was was in, in, injured, so we played Buttersworth, who got a goal and two assists, and Bonfigo and Farrell both had braces. So a simple 5-0 win, very easy for us. Um, but yeah, now we get to, with a little bit of a rotated squad, but now we get to jump right into this one with the team you saw. Everything looks good. Let's go up the Swifts, get into the game, a huge game in the State of the League. We can win this, then it's going to really help push us forward because Rangers seem to be the only ones trying to chase us down. Uh, Happy Squad is a winning squad, vice versa. At the end of the day, I believe we're better... It's such a fascinating contest. We have to be our best. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the new key light I have installed. It's called Sun. <laughs> I know it's very interesting, but it is free. And um, very nice to have his wholesale ball in finds king. I guess that was a offside or something. I'm not sure. Williams is already showing some tired. Williams has played like every game for us, and I'm going to have to rest him at some point. He has been an absolute machine. I rested Heracles for the last game, uh, and Bartos came in and played very well, uh, but at the same time, could have done better as Polino, Murphy with the clearance, Vi with the flick on. They do tend to collect this. It does Vi? Yeah, Vi's playing the center striker. Murphy finds Vi here, though. And Vi, oh, he tries to finesse left boot it into the upper right-hand corner. An interesting shot. But, you know, I'm not going to put anything against these guys because they have, oh my god, Murphy. Oh my god, Murph. I mean, no no disrespect to the finish from Farrell, but Jesus, Murphy. Let's look at this again. Throw comes in, gets intercepted. Murphy just goes, thank you. One touches it out of his foot. Looping <laughs> pass finds Farrell. And Murphy's just in there like, yep, yeah, I know. I'm the best. Thank you very much. The man's a machine. An absolute machine. Luckily, we still have that 100 million pound release clause on him. Stonks. So they just need to make sure the board doesn't sell them from out underneath him. Because they one of the goals of the board is like, buy players to sell them on for profit. Which I'm willing to do with everybody. Except Murphy. Buenzia. Beautiful ball in. And Bonfigo gets on the end of that for his 21st goal of the season. And uh, quietly, we are we are starting to rock uh, rock Rangers the bed here a little bit. Bonfigo, beautiful header. Keeper, not really sure what he's doing. He came off his line, and it was not the best decision. And we are going to go into the half 2-0 up. Now, granted, Rangers can always strike back and strike back quick. We've known them to do that. As Buenzia finds Verichuk, gets it to Heracles. Over here to Williams. Williams, beautiful pass to Penovic. Picks up Bonfigo. Can't find the... Can't find it in, but it does leave us to the corner. Murphy sends it in. Oh, yeah, that was... That was always going. That's why you keep a striker at the edge of the box. Just look how this develops. Beautiful technique. Murphy's there. It gets flicked out. Bonfigo has nobody there in the penalty area. Is able to one touch and then fires it home. I don't think any keeper stopping that with the amount of pace that it was on there. And uh, yeah, three nil up. I love the way things are going. Keep it up tactically. How do we look? Everybody is doing okay. Uh, Williams probably is going to get replaced in the second half at some point, just because I know he's tiring. We'll have to get Bartos in, but Bartos is a very solid center back. Murphy to Verichuk. Steal. Murphy. I mean, why not try the shot? By the way, Verichuk, Timo is a very interesting player compared to Dragon. Dragon is obviously very much the protect the ball, get the balls, plays a simple pass out, and doesn't go for risks. Verichuk is willing to play the risky pass. Like, just 
there, for instance. Good hold on the run there by Farrell. He's going to be pushed out wide, but is going to be able to cut it back. Mofigo gets his 23rd goal of the season and a hat trick. God, when did this team get this good? I mean, I knew we were good, but this is like, this is scary. How much these guys are scoring now. And for fun, I, I, I mean, say what you will about, you know, the Scottish League and the quality of players that we brought in and the recruitment. But it's just, it's it's kind of scary. Uh, Bartos can come in. Panovec, I'll make a change probably. I mean, we'll just keep seeing how this goes. All right, we'll do what we have been doing. Let's go balanced here now. Let's pull back the intensity. We've held Rangers to two shots on target. Both which were saved by Suarez. Quinzia, ball in. Bartos with his second goal of the season. I guess that was a good decision, right? Bartos getting like that. Wow. 5-0. Quinzia, beautiful kick in too, right? Just finds that back post. And I think that's the second time we we scored a goal at the back post for them. Yeah, I knew Panovec was going to tire. Her midfield does so much freaking work. Almog comes in. The perfect replacement. <laughs> Ten shots on target out of 14 total. Two shots on target with five. I mean, yeah, let's play Dragon as a uh, as a Medzala. Their striker at a 5.9. Wow. Nice victory, guys. Well done. I mean, when you're going up and showing up and beating the, the second place team in the league by five goals away from home, that, that says something. That's a statement of intent there. Hey, did our boy score? Hell yeah! His first goal ever! Jordan McDonald. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Really happy to see this guy score. Probably somebody we have to start thinking about not first teaming, but maybe first teaming. I think he could be very good. Classy from Bonfigo. So we've got three days of rest. And then I will see you guys back here for the Hearts game. We're back. And here we are, all set up and ready to go for Hearts. Not too much has happened. Actually, no no, no news has come through on the news channel. Or in the, in the uh, everything. So we're just going to jump right in. I've made a few changes to the squad. Mainly, um, Bartos comes in for Williams to give him kind of a half break. He'll be on the bench. And Yap will come in for Murphy because Murphy has just been playing almost every game. And I want to give him a little bit of a break. And also because, you know, Yap is somebody who he started off in our reserves and now he's back. And I brought him up and he's starting to kind of fill that role. And obviously, God, we want to start using a little bit more and more. And it looks like he could be really set to do that Metzala role. He's got the work rate. He's got the passing ability and everything so and he's a scottish player which is very nice so without further ado and much other pomp and circumstance we're gonna jump right in and i have a fly flying around and landing on my mic and it's very strange uh oh god this is away from home and they are playing the rangers formation the 4141 everything start to their defense Hearts plays, and now Hearts, they, for whatever reason, my assistant coach wanted us to play defensive in this game. And I don't know why he's like, hey, don't be positive, pay defensive, and have more defensive roles. And I'm not really sure why we'd want that. Steel's probably bruised thigh, was able to nurse him through the rest of the match. Yeah, Steel's fine. Fitness problems are not an issue. Yeah, as this is going to be, like, once again, it's a tough, tough team to break down. Because of the how deep they sit. Like you could almost have it be a 5-4. <laughs> and Wheelahan's up on himself. God, Wheelahan again. We always, 
always see this guy. He's got it out for me since I got rid of him. I just want to see how the game is starting to plan out. Always ignore. No, just ignore. Stop. Stop telling me to replace him. He's fine. It's fine. Stop giving me these kind of... Brian tries is Brian tries to head it over. And they've got their well, their entire right side now is on yellow cards. As Hearts were the only real opportunity of the game, though we have been starting to find our way. Verichick on a yellow. Um keep going, you can still win this one. I know you're capable to make the difference. I know you're capable to make the difference. I know you're capable to make the difference. Start the second half. And I think maybe a couple minutes. Fer Farrell on a yellow card. Interesting. What did he do? Let's get Murph in. This is a dangerous free kick. Very dangerous ball. Yep. Those almost always go in. All right. I'm going to demand more from the team. Steel finds Murphy, finds Verichick, finds Yap, who gets it back out here to Steel. On the right-hand side, tries to cross it in, does it again. Farrell's offside. I want to see how close this is. Steel. I mean, yep. We're going to go full out attacking now. Push, push, push. Buenzia, ball in here, tries to find Heracles. Verichek is going to get it back out here to Buenzia on his off foot, but it doesn't matter because Adam Vai is there for his 17th of the season. Buenzia starting to show the quality that we built, that we bought him for. I'm trying to see who. Okay, so it would have been Heracles covering it right back, but it's still a beautiful goal by him. Vai connected on the half volley, sends it into the top. And it looks like the draw is not on the cards as we are going to continue forward and try and find the winner. Though it may not be coming. Okay, Steel is now exhausted. I get it. Fabrini can come in. He is perfectly fine to deputize at right back. Let's do this. Murphy playing a little more deep, but being able to dictate. Buenzia tries to get it to Almog. There's throwing tackles in there. And what the hell was that? All right. <laughs> I mean, Buenzia, Almog, this guy goes, and Beamer's just like, okay, okay, I'll pass it. And Vi's like, thanks, boss. I'll take the goal. And just like that, we've gone 2-0 up through Adam Vi in the strangest of circumstances. As Vi's brace is going to negate Hart's one goal on the free kick, and we get the win in... He's the strangest passions of play I've ever seen. Did they think that there was a penalty? So, like, the guy was kicking it in frustration, but the wind over... Uh, shows a lot of spirit. What a joy to behold. I mean, it's... 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 It's answers on a postcard there, folks. Wow. Um, Vi, obviously, man of the match when you score two goals like that. Celtics' unbeaten run continues. And that guy looks okay. Huh. We got a friendly versus executor, so... 
kind of calm now for a little while. Until January. I mean, January, we've got this nice little Aberdeen Celtic matchup right there, which seems kind of nice. And then, <laughs> okay. Next two episodes, I've already got it. It's going to be Aberdeen Celtic. And then we're coming back for Hearts and Barcelona. Maybe Barcelona Rangers. We'll see. But until then, folks, it's been a hell of a time, hell of a goal. It's halftime at the Tottenham game, so I'm going to go finish that. So until then, I've been James. You've been you. This has been the Swifts. It's not how good you are. It's how good you want to be. Hopefully you're enjoying the football wherever you're watching it. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>